Welcome to the 122nd edition of the Director's Communique. Sean? It's great to be back after a summer holiday, Twilight. It is. Great to see everyone online here for our Director's Communique. And I'd like to start us with a land acknowledgement. We're filming today on Treaty 4 territory. And I share my own humble commitment to truth and reconciliation journeying with Indigenous peoples on these lands. And mindful of the message that Archbishop Don shared with us at opening Mass and our special special contributions and expectations in the world of Catholic education. Now, September 2022 will be remembered in Saskatchewan for a couple of things, not the least of which was the very first weekend, the September long weekend, and the tragic events that happened at the James Smith Cree Nation as well as the community of Weldon. So all those folks remain in our thoughts and prayers. In her last formal communication, Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth also shared her thoughts and prayers for the James Smith Cree Nation and all Canadians. And soon after, we unfortunately learned of Her Majesty's death. And in a very different way of mourning, as we witness the end of over a 70-year reign. It is amazing. Over the coming weeks, we'll see the portraits of our head of state in all our buildings change to reflect the ascension of King Charles III to fill his mother's throne. It really is um, a historic a historic time and it always feels historic when we gather for our opening mass and this year was amazing because we were all back together again in person. It felt like a real homecoming for us standing on the steps and welcoming people as they came into opening mass. What a great celebration of our faith, of our organizational culture and also an opportunity to, uh, to thank a lot of people for their years of dedicated service. It was a lot of fun. Um, always an amazing point in the year and really let's talk about Valimar for a moment because she was phenomenal. It takes a lot of talent and skill to mobilize that many people in a church setting and get high school phys ed teachers moving to dance themes <laughs> amongst <laughs> others. It was tremendous. What a great experience and we really thank Valimar for setting the tone for our school year. We, we were almost clapping on beat. Almost. I'm glad Gord wasn't <laughs> filming from the front of Mass to see the swaying, a little, a little more like waves, turbulent waves than necessarily rhythm. We, maybe we should have practiced, but you know who didn't get a lot of practice was that choir in advance, and they were just, I mean, we don't have the adjectives. No prep time, or when, very little. When we had a chance to visit with Valimar afterwards, she was actually trying to negotiate to steal some of our very talented people away. Uh, huge thank you to all the members of the choir who volunteered their time, and really on short order this year, learned an incredible array of music, and pulled it off seamlessly. Just uh, what a great group. They always set such a wonderful tone for us. It was a lot of fun and a great way to start. So mm -hmm. let's take our 81 seconds from around RCSD number 81. And I want to mention one thing, too, from the summer. And you mentioned uh, the Pope's words and Archbishop Don's words. Here's a little bit of our very own Joanna Landry, who had a part in his Mass. Our journey of reconciliation, that as we gather around the table of the Eucharist, we may recognize that we are all children of one Father and brothers and sisters of one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. What an honor for one of our teammates, Joanna, to be part of that historic celebration and uh, really important, incredibly important messaging for us as we go forward on our journey of truth and reconciliation. Congratulations, Joanna, on that honor. 81 seconds. Yeah, and they're, they're going very quickly. Here so we go. High school first. Absolutely. Michael A. Riffle Catholic High School has a special announcement and we'll let the folks at Riffle share the good news. Michael A. Riffle Catholic High School grounds itself in our motto of respect and responsibility. As a Catholic school, we build upon those two pillars through purposeful educational practices, intentional culture, and meaningful faith traditions both within the school and through our relationship with Holy Family Parish. This past Lenten, we went on a prayerful journey to select our patron saint of Riffle to help further ground ourselves in prayer and purpose. With the help of Rufus, we are happy to announce the patron saint of Michael A. Riffle Catholic High School.
congrats to Riffle, Chaplain Jackie Murray on that outstanding project, St. Gertrude. St. Gertrude, I love it. O'Neill, Archbishop MC O'Neill Catholic High School placed second in Canada for the Mindshare wow. Learn Innovative Schools of the Future Award. That's quite the title. Led by students in particular, uh, as well, teacher Dean Venderman, and it's all about this cool go-kart project. Congratulations to that group. St. Maria Faustina staff was smiling and ready to get students back on the first day, even sharing their joy with this sweet little video. Enjoy. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We always could spot a friend. Welcome back, and I smile when I think how it must have been. Very nice, love seeing those smiles. Outstanding. Speaking of smiles and welcoming people back, Incredible efforts at so many of our schools for some version of meet the teacher slash backpack, right. drop off your backpack, welcoming night. Had a chance to see a few of those in person and lots on social media. An incredible gesture of welcome on behalf of our staff and, and just to clear up any of those anxieties that students may be facing. But many parents that we heard from were just so excited to have the opportunity to get back in the buildings after so many years of restrictions due to the pandemic. It's nice to see people again, that's for sure. Uh, Edsby is new for this year for everybody. Now our high school invites are out, not yet our elementaries at the time of filming, but please work, watch for those. And uh, I know we've got our new website, there's a lot going on. Everybody had one little task, Sean, and that was to get your profile picture uploaded. We sort of struggled. Had some challenges. Uh, should have listened a little bit more carefully to the instructions from the lovely and talented Jenna Rodriguez. Um, tried a few different iterations before finally getting it right, Twyla. Yeah. So you tried this one. There's Tito. Yeah. It's pretty I, cute. I, cute, but I don't think that's what parents want to see if they're visiting Mr. Chase's Edsby site. So no. that, that was a miss. That was a miss. I, I tossed up my, my dogs, Molly and Tonks. <laughs> Jenna's reaction, though, was this. Well, they were equally <laughs> cute. Sorry, Jenna, on that one. Um, but let's try this one. You tossed this one up. A selfie. Where did where did this come from? Uh, that was at the north shore of Whitefish Lake from this summer. Again, great holiday. Tons of fun sharing. I enjoyed ourselves, but maybe not exactly what I'm looking for from a professional standpoint. Yeah. Jenna didn't like that. She didn't like my garden picture either. So mm. she had a very strong reaction. She's great, unless she's mad, and then look out. I think we finally got it right with <laughs> the proper did. professional headshots in this one, and just a gentle reminder, I think, to everyone out there of uh, this is going to be our key communication yes. tool with our stakeholders and families, and there's lots of great places for those fun selfies and bitmojis and so on, but we're, we're looking Edsby. for the, yeah, the professional headshot on the Edsby. So thanks, Jenna, for your patience and helping us remind everyone. Absolutely. So get yours up there if you haven't done that yet. Congratulations in order to an awful lot of our staff members. Uh, one of the really great traditions at opening Mass is the opportunity to salute our 15 and 25 years of service yeah. individuals. And uh, it's so nice. It's great standing out out front and having a chance to shake hands of some colleagues you've known for a long time. Um, there's often a little exchange about where have the years gone? And I, th <laughs> I think that's a sign of for someone like me aging, but secondly, of uh, a pretty successful career. So we just want to say another thank you to all these individuals as we scroll the list. Yeah, and we have uh, these beautiful prints that we get each year. Wolf Pro creates these just for Regina Catholic Schools for our 15 and our 25 year recipients. Wolf's a great guy, a friend of the family, if you will, from around the school division here former member of the school division who puts a lot of time and effort into creating these prints. So thanks for all your work, Wolf. Okay, and you, you mentioned the time and effort, so let's talk for a few minutes about our multilingual and multicultural services department area. I think the original estimation was that we would have about 200 language assessments done. The latest number I've heard is 400. I think a little north of that. I might have uh, had a conversation with Karen Kiros Norman last evening in her office and with a smile, the typical smile on her face, ever present. She showed me the good news story. I want to say the spreadsheet was in about the 470 range of assessments that have been done in the last few months. So absolutely Amazing. incredible story. Amazing. We actually had a chance to talk to her as well. We have a great influx of newcomers coming to Regina and 
We are getting the kids ready to go into school. We are meeting the families. We are taking some of the documentations. Uh, families have questions about how school works here in Regina, and especially in Regina Catholic. Um, so we're here to answer their questions. Um, today, specifically, we had 30 students, and they are all displaced Ukrainians. I have to say that uh, the staff at the schools, principals, administrators, office managers, they have been awesome with us, giving us the, the time and the, um, being very patient with us because, again, we are working as fast as possible, but um, it's, there is still a process. So I would like to thank everybody for their patience, uh, for working with us, and, uh, and helping us to, to get through this first step, which is a huge step for the kids to go to school. All the staff in the school division have been amazing. They are welcoming, they are warm, and this is what the students need. That's what the families need. They need people that know how to smile. Um, you know, our office managers are the first people that are welcoming our students into school, so we, we need those big smiles for our, from our great office managers and um, our teachers uh, to be just as fabulous as they are, kind and patient with our students and helping them to learn the English language um, while they are still learning the curricular outcomes. Okay, so welcome to Regina in Ukrainian is Vitaimo do Rijaini. Vitaimo do Rijaini. Vitaimo do Rijaini. Welcome to Regina in Ukrainian is Vitaimo do Rijaini. Thanks, Katie. So we gotta give it a try. Vitaimo do Rijaini. Vitae Mado Regini. Re yes. Vitae Mado Regini. We can do that. Now we can say that to Misha when he comes by, one of our new caretakers. Absolutely. When I welcome him, rather than speaking English and testing his English knowledge, it should be my turn to try and do the same. All right. As we always do, we get to this point in our communique and we talk about the kind people who deserve a hello. And there are so many of them. It's a privilege for us to try and select a few names each of these each of these episodes. Um, we just showed some video from them, but we remiss if we didn't share just by name the wonderful work of some of the leadership group in that M&M services there, Karen Carols norman Nora Montero-Demore, and Katie Nakuti. They worked hard all summer. Also working hard, Adam Ward over at Sacred Heart Community School, what he did with some of these students and, and teammates, and he had a bunch of games for them to play on Taylor Field at Mosaic Stadium. Yeah, and uh, the scoreboard, the tweet that's showing up there in terms of things just shows the dedication to it. I think really want to thank Adam for finding creative ways to show the students as well as his colleagues, his teammates, that he uh, believes in each of them. Yeah, great memories for those students and, and coaches. Some new administrators to uh, give a shout out to. We had a chance to gather as we always do and do some preparation work in August with our entire team of administration as well as some of the division office staff. And uh, we do a really nice commissioning service for the yeah. folks who are new to the team in terms of administration duties. So just a shout out to Stephanie Casper, uh, Arkenkoff, Joachim Smidu, and Trevor Troy and uh, wishing them all the best as they enter into their careers as administration. Somebody who's had a very cool career and is one of the coolest people I know around here, Leanne Schaff, who is one of those early year teachers. She's bouncing between two schools this year. Incredible work, and she's, she's so much fun to have around here at CEC as well. Really want to commend Leanne. She will be very uncomfortable, I'm sure, with being singled <laughs> out on this. Uh, but her creative solution to be able to welcome pre-K and K kids in both Holy Rosary and St. Matthew certainly warrants uh, accommodation. So thanks, Leanne. Thinking outside the box. Mm -hmm. uh, inside, not a box, but a bus. <laughs> <laughs> transportation this time of year is always a little um, intense in the world of transportation, but Aaron Rockabar has done a phenomenal job. Aaron Rockastar, yes. I think is what we've yes. been calling her recently. Um, had the opportunity to watch Aaron as she's navigated the real big challenges that happen as we start to unveil the portal and get the information out there and service thousands and thousands of kids and by extension families on this critical transportation that we provide to them. Erin has been with regularity the last one to turn out the lights around this building as I chat with her uh, night after night. So thanks to Erin for just being uh, a wonderful welcoming face to Regina Catholic and for all the work you do in transportation. Yeah, 
Yeah, and the other welcoming faces to just add another shout out for would be all of those EAL teachers who've been putting in the extra time for language assessments and just processing newcomers to the division and to Canada. But, and Karen mentioned it in her clip earlier, the office managers, as they are greeting oh. all of these students and a lot of parents getting back into the school for the first time in a couple of years, those smiles are fantastic. When you and Jenna were leading a session on Ed's B, speaking which, with yes. our office managers back in uh, kind of the late stages of August as we were ramping up for the school year, the energy in the room was palpable. What an incredibly dedicated group of people who uh, just make sure that every student, every family, every staff member comes to a school that's prepared and welcoming. So really a big shout out and thank you to all of you. So Twyla, one of the great stories that's unveiling in our schools is the return of extracurricular in the fall season. We've had some ups and downs in terms of availability the last couple years to really fully participate in all the activities. So we've got fall drama productions that are ramping up. We've got band, choral, choir, all the great stuff happening in schools. They're getting ready for their work and what will be outstanding performances. The soccer pitch, the football field, the cross country running, the volleyball, it's all underway and taking place right now. And the excitement, the energy, absolutely outstanding everywhere you go. So a huge thank you to all of our staff who are making space in their own personal lives yes. to create these opportunities for our students and for their families. Just great to see. Oh, I hope it's as rewarding for the staff members as it is for, for all the students who get to make those great memories as well. Speaking of coaches, Twyla, look who's joined us. Yes, your second best friend. My second best buddy over here, Mr. Ted Lasso, who always <laughs> reminds us of some real inspirational ways to think of one another and uh, the message that I shared at opening mass of really looking after and being kind to oneself. Yeah, it's a good way to start the Absolutely. school year. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for hitting play once again on the Director's Communique. Until next month, I'm Twyla West. And I'm Sean Chase reminding you to be kind to yourself and have an awesome 2022-23 school year. Mm -hmm.